All right, so I'm out here today to show you how to install a feeder. Now, my dad and I, my dad told the camera, we were gonna dig a hole, and what you do is these Banks feeders, they're set by a four by four post, and you need an eight foot post. And when you dig it, you dig it down exactly three feet, and they already have the preset. When you put the feeder on top of it, that ideal feeding range is about 40 to 42 inches for deer off the ground. So when you bury that three feet down, it leaves you 60 inches on top, it's 18 inches in there that leaves you 42 after the feeders are on there, but they also fit trees. So we found this perfect tree. I have a perfect tree stand set up over here, about 25 yards away behind us. We found this, instead of breaking our backs, digging a hole, we decided to shave down the tree. You're gonna see my dad did a little bit of handiwork here and cut it perfectly, and it fits right on the feeder. So what we did is we measured it about 60 inches to the top. This slides down about 18 inches, and then those feeder depths should be about between 40 and 43 inches. And that's what we got here and I'm going to show you how it is once we assemble it. So if you have big hands this part is extremely hard so <laughs> I'd pre-assemble the bottom before you put it on because you might need somebody else's hand size. There's two screws with a wing nut that you turn in uh, to put them in. It's actually pretty easy it's just Which that back fitting yeah you got to fit both of them in place we were screwing in one had to redo it so we'll get it. This tube is the bank's outdoor feeding sleeve and it just prevents raccoons and any other animal trying to climb up to get to your feed. We crammed it with some of those sticks so it wouldn't be moving at all. All right, here, you got it? I got it. There you go. Can you slide it down? All right, this is the bank's 300 pound gravity feeder all installed. Uh, we put it in, like I said, make sure you have small hands when you do this. We got it with our big hands, it's just a pain. Uh, we're gonna put some corn in it now and then we are going to actually cut some trails because remember deer like the least resistance so we're going to cut some trails over to my placement barricade other areas to kind of force them in the way i want them in and it's all set up I do want to note that there are two latches on the top that are very easy to pop on and off to get that lid on and off. So when you have to put in whatever you want to put in this feeder, it makes it simple. The last thing I just want to talk about, I did we did barricade this area so it makes them hard or it makes them funnel up and around. We opened up a trail going through there so they can come up and then we opened up this trail and my stand's gonna be back there on one of those trees. I put the date and time here because I wanted to show you what date it was installed and how often and how long it took the deer to get used to it. If you look in the bottom right corner you'll see the days. This was the night of the 13th. The deer were next to it but they didn't eat out of it. The 15th here, I didn't have really any action the 14th. The 15th they just kind of smelled it and moved on. Here it is the 16th. This is a pie ball yearling that I watched all year. I nicknamed him Jim, and he was actually the first one to take a bite out of the feeder. And that was on the 17th, so that was four days. And then, if you notice, on the 18th, a whole group of more mature doe now come in with the fawns, and they started eating out of it until the, well, who doesn't like a good fight by the feeder? And then they'll come up and take a bite out of it. And then the 19th, this is my bachelor group of bucks. You notice they're all shed, but you can see their pedicle markings on their head. They almost have a square off right here. And then you'll notice them eating out of the feeder. So six days roughly it took for the deer to get used to it. And each day, I assume they're gonna get better and better around it. Please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below.